We can now put some final numbers on all of that increased spending, and they are pretty significant. There will be $13.6 billion in aid to Ukraine, covering humanitarian and economic relief, as well as defense assistance. There's $15.6 billion for COVID, that's buying antivirals and funding global vaccine access. And that emergency spending comes on top of the $1.5 trillion to fund the government for the fiscal year. Non-defense spending will go up by 6.7 percent, the biggest boost in four years, according to Democrats. Defense spending will go up by 5.6 percent, including money for border security. Now, the text of this bill is nearly 3,000 pages, and it dropped in the middle of the night, but the House is still planning to vote on it today. Then it needs to go to the Senate. And the government runs out of money on Friday. So lawmakers are also passing a bill to move that deadline to March 15th. One final wrinkle, guys. The bill to ban Russian oil that was supposed to pass in the House yesterday, that's now happening today after Republicans and even some Democrats were upset that the president moved on his own and ended up sidelining what had been a bipartisan effort to impose an even tougher sanctions package. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.